We're here at West End Architectural Salvage for another DSM DIY, and today we're making homemade chalk. It's beautiful out, kids are playing, it's a perfect time to make some homemade chalk. So here's what you're gonna need. You're going to want to have some wax paper, some water, you're gonna want some sort of um, paint. It can be a powdered paint, or I like to just use acrylic paint. And it does dry a little bit darker than the actual color that's in your container. You're gonna want something to stir with. So I've got a spoon or a stir stick's fine. Scissors. Um, I like to use a plastic cup because that way, when it's all done, you can kinda of just toss it. You don't have to worry about cleaning out the plaster. You're gonna want some masking tape. Um, here's your measuring cup. You've got your plaster right here, and the plaster you can get pretty much anywhere, any craft store, home improvement store. You're gonna need a rubber band, and then last but not least, kind of funny, but you're gonna need a toilet paper roll. So the inside part of the toilet paper, the little cardboard piece, you need that. And you're also gonna need a plastic bag that what you're gonna do is cut them into little squares. So first you're gonna take your toilet paper roll, you're gonna take your little piece of plastic that's from your plastic bag. You're gonna lay that, lay that right over one end. And you're just gonna kinda hold it tightly. Then you're gonna take your rubber band, and you're gonna go over that a couple of times, just to make sure it's nice and snug. So then you're gonna take your wax paper, and you wanna cut a section that's about the same size as your toilet paper roll. It's gonna fit inside there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my piece. Okay, so that I'm just gonna roll a little bit and then put it inside there and it'll just kind of fit in really nicely. Like that. So first you're gonna want about, oh, I'd say a half a cup of water. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some in here. You can always add more, so if you go a little bit less to begin with, that's fine. And then you're gonna want two thirds cup of your plaster. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. So now I'm gonna add that to my water. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm gonna just mix it up. Okay, so that looks pretty good. It's kind of, I mean, it's still a bit runny, but this stuff, it, this stuff really sets up pretty quickly, so. I think that is probably pretty darn good. So then I'm gonna take my paint and I'm gonna go with a blue color today. And then I'm just gonna put in, you know, you just put in as much as you want. If you want it to be a little bit darker, of course put more in. There we go. You can see it's kind of turning light blue. And you can actually see that it's thickening up already. And it doesn't take long. And if, if you let it sit, it will harden in the cup. Okay, I think it looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill my toilet paper roll. So now you're just gonna let that sit. In about 30 minutes, you'll really start to see that it's starting to firm up, but give it about 24 hours to let it dry completely before you give it to the kids and they're out there drawing with it. Okay, so here is one that looks like it's pretty well dried. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. So now you just kind of rip along the edge of the tube and it starts to just kind of completely come apart for you. And then you just take your wax paper and kind of do the same thing. And there you go. And that's it, it's so much fun. It's a little messy, but you know, it's kind of fun to get messy once in a while. So give it a try, see what you think. Let us know on Facebook and Twitter. And if you haven't been down to West End Architectural Salvage, you don't know what you're missing. It is a great way to spend an afternoon.